Hi everybody, I'm Carl and welcome to NAC 3D Designs. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to swap out the belt on your 3D print mill. So let's get started. All right, to remove your belt, you only need two tools. You need a two millimeter and a three millimeter Allen wrench. You have four bolts to take out to remove the belt assembly. They're directly below your adjustment knobs right here, 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 and here. You'll have two electrical connections. On the side of your bed, you've got a round barrel connector. That is your heater and thermistor for the heat bed. And you've got your stepper motor up here underneath the front of the printer or the back of the printer, depending on how you have it set up. Anyway, you have one connection there to disconnect the stepper. Once you've removed the bed assembly out, you'll need to remove the two tensioner assemblies at the end, remove the roller, and then take off the belt. Now, in one of my posts, I said I could do this in around 15 to 20 minutes, so I thought it'd kind of be cool to throw up a timer and see just how fast I can do it. So, let's get that timer. All right, I'm gonna get myself ready here and start the timer now. So, first thing we're gonna do is disconnect all of our electrical connections. I've already unplugged the printer and removed the roller assembly just for simplicity. So stepper's disconnected, heat bed's disconnected. Now we need to remove these four screws. And that's all four screws. Now with those four screws removed and the power and the stepper disconnected, you can just lift out the whole assembly. Assuming your cable doesn't snag on something. And I'll spin this around so you guys can see what we're gonna do next. Right here and here, are your two set screws to lock in your tensioner. Just gonna go ahead and loosen those up a couple turns. And then we're gonna remove the two tensioner bolts. Now that you have those two bolts removed, there are four more here on the side of each tensioner. We're going to go ahead and take those out. and lift the tensioner off the side. Flip it over, 
repeat the same thing on this side. and raise the other tensioner off. Now we can roll the roller around to the top of the belt and remove the roller. Now the belt, you just have to fish it off of the ends and around the tensioners. And your belt can come right off. Now, Reverse the process, slide your belt back over the top. When you're putting your belt in, make sure that you don't let it get out over the stepper. Make sure it gets tucked in underneath it. Take your roller, bring it down, fit it in between the two pieces of extrusion and over the end of the assembly. Grab your tensioner, make sure you grab the right one you want to make sure that you've got your set screw on the same side as your build plates. And make sure you get the notches on each side of the roller lined up with the flat edges of the tensioner. Slide it down over and put your screws back in. So make sure they're lined up nice and straight with the extrusion and then tighten them all up. Flip it over and repeat. Lay it back down, put the bed plate up, install our two tensioner screws. Now what I usually do is I run them in until they're flush to the tensioner. At that point you haven't adjusted it any. And once I do that, I will usually run them in about two, two turns at a time until I start getting some tension on the belt. Still pretty loose, we'll go two more. Get in there. This side feels a little looser than this side, so I'm going to go ahead and give it another half a turn. Now I'm not sure how tight you can make this yet because I haven't really tried to stress test it and snap the seam. Why risk it? I usually pull them till they deflect up about you know, that far, pops back nice and tight. And if it seems like it's flexing too much when it's printing, then I'll loosen it up and tighten it up another half a turn. But for now, we'll go ahead and Tighten up the set screws.
And now we're ready to set this back in the printer. Now there are four screw tabs that come down off each of these that help you kind of line it up into some holes in the extrusion. They're not exact, but they'll help you get it pretty close. And then I just recommend finger tightening all the rest of these until you get them all in. Then you're sure you've got it lined up right. One. That's two. And four. I'll just tighten them all up. Right. And then, last thing we need to do is reconnect our electrical connection. So we'll hook up our heat bed and thermistor and reconnect our stepper motor and we're done stop the timer <laughs> 11 39 a new record all right and once you've done all this, obviously, just like any time you change out a nozzle or a replace a flex plate on your printer, you're going to want to double check your nozzle to bed alignment, make sure it's not too close, make sure it's not too far away. And I'll cover how to do that in another video. But for now, this completes how to swap out the belt on your 3D print mill. If you like what I'm doing here and you want to help support the channel, there are links in the description below. Thank you for tuning in and have a great day.